Alrighty, welcome back. We're on the road today. It's Sunday fun day. We are in Kingston, Wilmont area. Uh, we have found a, or we have not found, we've seen a 55 Studebaker two-door post uh, advertised for sale. So we've, we're going to come take a look at it. It's kind of a, a good looking, it's a good looking car, I guess. Uh, it had some rear end damage done to it. I guess maybe that's why the price is where the price is at. But we're going to come take a look at it. We're just coming along it slowly here, I think. We're going to be right here, I think so. I'm not sure. There's an awful lot of snow for cars to be for sale. No, we're not there yet. Alrighty. Alrighty, if you haven't voted for Jolene on Jet Set, let's, we gotta, we got to get some more votes in. Uh, it's getting down. It's going to be decided Thursday. She's currently not in first place, and, and uh, it takes takes what it takes and uh, if everybody's willing to support her let's let's go for it let's get her back in the position <laughs> the position is first place if you don't make first place this time you're out are you not yeah we don't want that she's letting me look at cars on sunday i gotta support her <laughs> oh here we go i think it's here maybe somewhere not sure see a bunch of trucks for sale do not see any any Studebakers? See a Studebaker, baby? No. I don't see anything yellow. Do you? No. We might have to call the number and ask them. No. Don't see anything yellow? I might get out and take a look, though. Well, we drove for an hour to come look at this car, and uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get out and take a look around and see if it's even here. Oh, I see it back there. You do? Yeah. It's buried in snow a little bit, but... Watch yourself, sweetheart. A bunch of ice. Oh, we're going to get back and take a look at it. There's the only way to take a look at her is go back and take a look at her. I hear music. Oh. <laughs> what? Buried? Well, they're having fun in there. I know that. It buried. Oh, shoot. That's too bad. I'd like to really take a look at it. Oh. And there it sets. <laughs> I think they're having fun in there. Chris, you can walk right up on the roof or you'd never know. The damage on the, they had a damage on the quarter panel and, the, and it looks pretty good, you know, for. I like it, the small roof on it. Mm. Glass all looks good. Hard to tell. Interior looks not bad. It's going to be a while too, isn't it? I think buried. Yeah. Well, there's Sunday fun day for you. <coughs> Just got my foot wet. <laughs> Damn it. I want to take a look at it. That's too bad. After after hour sales inquire Dave 824-2945. Closed. Don't sound like they're closed, does it? Huh? They're having a fun time. That's good. We'll make a phone call when we get back home maybe. But that looks like that would be That looks like that would be what? A couple weeks before it gets out, doesn't it? <laughs> huh? A while. That's too bad. Not a bad, reasonable price truck. 2008, 5.3, $4,200, King Cab. Don't look like a bad price, a little bit of rust, but whatever. I'm gonna empty my shoe. I'm gonna empty my shoe. Did you get the number on the door? I think. Okay, we can call the number. That's too bad, I wanted to look at that. I wanted to look at that. Well, I don't know what to say than that. 
We'll take you for a little drive, I guess. We're in Kingston area. We're about an hour away from home. And uh, this is Gould's Auto. Can fix it auto. And uh, this is where we're at. I'm gonna wait for this car. Just for the hay. Thank you. What have I got going on? Wouldn't you wipe her in the back? What for? What did I do? What did I touch? You have to move the thing on the. Okay. Where? This tab. Turn it off. Yeah. All right, we're going for it. Well, you can see right now that with the snow that we have, um, there's the car back there in the snow in the ice. Wow, it's buried. It'll be, it'll be a couple weeks before you even get to see it. Yes. Yeah, so, what's up, baby? Bummer. Bummer. Yep, Jolene's in second place right now on the jet setter. So if she does not come in first by Thursday, yeah, she's out. So it's all let's all pull together and, and do it for her. She deserves it, or I think she does. I have a few friends out here in Kingston. They have old cars that are play with, you know, play with older stuff. Uh, not much else I can tell you other than that. We'll just kind of take you for a drive. The snow here is quite, well, what the snow, what snow you see is ice. Mm. <laughs> it's ice. Um, it was warm yesterday. Yeah, it's, there's a lot of flooding to go on yet because the snow's got to melt and it's got to go somewhere. We're going to get more flooding at our place. Our basement seems to get wet every time it, it gets warm. But, yeah, that's too bad. We maybe we should have made a phone call before we come out. Yeah. But we didn't, so that's that's what happens. We can see the roof though. <laughs> I like the the this how small the roof is on it. Looks mm. good, don't it? Mm-hmm. 1955. It's got a V8 in it. Three speed standard. Uh, I don't know what the V8 would be. Like what what size it would be. I, I don't even know. Um, yeah, I don't know what size they ha would have. I don't know how many sizes they did have. But it's got a V8 three speed standard. It looks like it's on the column. Column standard shift. It had yellow and white interior. It had some rear end damage on the driver's side on the tail light. It looked, the couple pictures they took of it was quite kinkle dinkled. And uh, they must have got it pulled and, and straightened it out a bit the best they could. And it looks like they did a fairly good job pulling it out. And it's surprising uh, what a frame straightener and a pull machine will do when you have something that's bent. Surprising how, how, how well it works sometimes. And it depends on who's working the machine too, I guess. But they look like they did a pretty good job from what it looked like in the pictures that they showed. You would not dare try to dig that thing out. You, you would <laughs> no. probably tear it all to pieces. You'd scratch it all up and everything. But a Studebaker is quite a rare... It's a rare car. They don't make it anymore. Uh, it's, it's got a good look to it. It's not as good looking as Jolene, but it's got a good look to it. We're in Kingston right at the present moment. If we took a right, it would take us down into Greenwood. And Greenwood was where the mall is and where Canadian Tire is. And uh, There's a base down in there for military. Not sure if it's open or not. Not sure. Used to be a little antique store. I love there. Yeah. Bankers Hollow, little antique store there. We have a Honda dealership on the right hand side there. It's Sunday. A few cars on the road, not many compared to what it usually is. Basically, driving today, you more or less just got to drive and try to miss the potholes.
or try to miss the potholes. Me and Jolene went to Subway this morning and had our breakfast. I thought he had a little teddy bear in the back of his thing there and this little kid with a hat on. We might make a phone call when we get home, you know, to see see a little a couple more details about it. But it's pretty hard to tell anything about a car unless you look at it yourself, you know, you really gotta take a look at it. Basically what I would just want to do is look underneath the floors and look underneath the doors and the trunk lid and that sort of stuff just to see if the lips are still there if, or if they've been repaired, basically. Um, yeah. Hard times in the Maritimes right at the present moment. Got the motor in Elvis, got the transmission mount cut off, the cross member, and it was not on there by, by very much. It was just tacked on there from the engine that I had in it before, so it was easy to cut off. I got underneath there with the old plasma cutter and cut it off. It just took a second, and then the engine dropped right in place, got the bolts in place. Uh, yeah, it was good. So it was only a couple minutes after we shut the video down yeah, we got the engine in. So the engine's in where it's supposed to be. Basically, what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave the engine in there for now. And then I'm going to uh, probably run the wiring harness and figure out where all that stuff is going to go. I should have manifolds to hook up uh, the exhaust or try to get that figured out. I haven't got any exhaust manifolds right now. I've seen there's some on Marketplace. I'm not sure if I want to to buy an aftermarket header or just put the manifolds on it from original. Uh, the manifolds from original I imagine are fairly hefty and uh, the aftermarket would be um, a little bit lighter I'm sure. Would not last as long but they would be a little bit lighter than factory. I don't know if it matters much or not. Uh, matters much. Yeah, all the old cars are tucked away, so it's pretty hard to see anything other than the snow. This is the old number one highway, so this would be the old highway, and then they built the new highway, which is to our left. So if we were on the, the, the 101, it would be uh, to our left. Um, this is the old highway. Um, yes, yeah, so they double lane the other highway, obviously. Got a little place up here. I'm not sure what he does, but he built himself a little castle looking front piece. It looks pretty cool. And they got the windows and the doors in it. I think it's a tattoo shop, is it not? It's pretty cool though. There's another place up here on the right. I'm not sure it's right here or close by. Uh, the house has a rare uh, train track that goes all the way around the house in the back of the house. And it was out close to the road and, and you could ride a train like he'd set on the train and you'd ride it all the way around his house, which was pretty cool. You know, he had passion for it, obviously. Not sure if it's still set up, but he did have a, tra a train track all around his house. couple gargoyles up here on this thing is nice right here. Can you see those? Too fast.
How does it feel to be in second place, Jolene? Uh, not great. What? Not great. Oh, come on. Not the best feeling. You're not sweating it? I'm sweating now. Jolene's sweating. She's not sweating. She's just getting shiny. <laughs> uh, we'll see what happens. See what happens? Yeah. Huh? Yeah, that's all you can do, baby. That's all you can do is hope for the best. Yeah. Hope for the best. We can do it, boys. We can do it. <laughs> hope for the best. Let's put our votes into it. There's a place here that sell, he sells cars, or used to. I'm sure the car thing, the car business right now is hard here in Nova Scotia, from what I understand. And the reason being is of computer chips for the cars they can't get or something or other. Mm -hmm. I don't know the full effect, but something's going on where it, the car dealerships are hard to keep their dealerships full with cars. Um, we seem to have a few trucks around seem to have a few trucks around but the the dealership haven't got many cars many cars or new trucks really hmm. that I know of how far are we from gyms how far are we from gyms hmm. mm, I don't know 20 half not sure right the present the old truck right there uh, a couple bows on her. She must have got first prize. Sixty, we're doing seventy three. I better slow this bad boy down. know if Jimbo be home or not. 12 o'clock, he probably had his mother's place. Dinner hour. Didn't he have dinner with her? Or just supper? supper? Just supper. Yeah, there's a... We'll take a drive-by Earl's place. Yeah. We won't do any drive-by shooting or anything. We'll just do a drive-by. Earl's a friend of ours that, um, what can I say? He's a collector, welder, a little bit of everything, I guess. Good friend of ours. He was on the show. He, he sold us a few, a few things. Nothing there. Is that Earl right there? Was yeah, it? it was. Okay. Huh? Could have been his son, too. His son... Got, uh, did it look like Earl, though? It did look like Earl driving. Okay. We'll just take a drive-by. Got the old schoolhouse here. It's quite a big spot. See, he's got a, an old truck there. See the old truck? Mm, it's hard to see past the snow. See the old truck? You got a link in there. See it now? No. No? This is, this is where we delivered the, the bubble top race car and uh, Guy burned her up the road. Um, that was nothing but funny when he took off in that thing. <laughs> it was funny. We're gonna go the back road. I guess we're gonna go across the highway. Oh, I hope I got enough room for this car to turn. I'm sure they do. yet got the camera on so they'd see whose fault it was if it was an accident wouldn't they yeah. huh
hard to find the old cars in the winter time, is it not? Mm-hmm. I, uh, I don't think Guy had that truck last, or not Guy, but Earl had that truck last time I was seeing him. I don't think he had that truck. Oh, really? No, I don't think so. That must be a new one. We're not far away from Jim's really now. Crossing the highway, down about 10 minutes, 10 or 20 minutes. There's the highway right there. I guess Sunday fun day, you get to go for a drive. That's what we're doing, going for a drive. When I get back, I might go in the shop and uh, get the old block sander going. I've got the hood off. I can block sand the hood. And uh, I, I've noticed I started it already just blocking the outside edges of it. And uh, I've noticed a couple low spots in it, so I'm going to have to, you know, put some filler in it. Basically. We've got a big chicken community in, in uh, Nova Scotia. We, we grow lots of chickens here. Lots of chickens. We got no pigs and we have a little bit of beef, but we got no pigs. Pigs are gone. There used to be a pig farm right beside us, but that, uh, that diminished, I guess. Not sure where all the pigs are grown at in Canada now. Out west? Not sure. Out west would be like Alberta, Manitoba, Saskatchewan, Vancouver. I'm not sure though. But we have no pigs in Nova Scotia. I know no quota, anyways. Uh, I guess most of our quota is chickens, uh, dairy, and, and there's some beef because I know Kinsmen's have beef. Not a lot of beef, but some. on the other side of the highway. Over there where Jolene's showing the camera, that's a, the south south mountain. And uh, the road we're on, looking up on that hill, is the north mountain. So we got the north north mountain on this side. The north mountain on this side. This is the north mountain Jolene's showing you right now. And on the other side is the south mountain. There used to be long, a long time ago when I was younger, younger, there used to be a 69 Mach 1 428 or 429 Mustang in a little tiny building on that, in that farm. And uh, I think more, everybody was trying to buy it, everybody was trying to buy it. And uh, it did get bought after a long time and then uh, it got burnt. <laughs> it got burnt. And it was something that was not restored. It was something that had been sitting there for a long time. I think something happened to the motor in it and it had been sitting there. And uh, I don't think the, the farmer wanted to sell it or anything like that. But after a while it did get sold and then it got burnt. <laughs> it, was, it was not meant to be. The road is new right here. Mm -hmm. Running running along nice. The road is new. Last time he commoded had ditches dug every what? Every couple hundred feet? Yeah. Yeah. It wasn't that great. All kinds of nice little farmhouses along here. Some are restored and some are the way they are.
We have a golf course right here. It's called Berwick Heights. So that's a golf course. Hard to believe, I know. We've got a couple golf courses around. A couple nice golf courses around, actually. Mm-hmm. What's you used to work at a golf course in your sweet hair? Yeah, I worked two at of two. Them. You worked at Fox Harbor and... Eagle Crest. Eagle Crest. So that's three golf courses that we know of. Then we have one right in New yeah. Minus. Yeah. Is Kenwo? Uh-huh. Kenwo? Whoa, Ken. I mean Kenwo. <laughs> and our mountain is really not a mountain. It's a hill. I think a mountain has to be over a certain amount of feet. And I don't think our hill is over that certain amount of feet. That Studebaker's got me more thinking more and more about it all the time now. Can't stop, you know, I can't see it. But yeah. now I want to see it. Huh? Isn't that how it goes? Yeah. Now you're in second, now you want to be in first. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you want what you can't have. Generally, most times, eh? Something like that. Generally. You got a good team behind you, so you'll do all right. No matter what ha- what happens. That's for sure. There's a fox, I think. What's that, sweetheart? Look at that now. Let's... Baby fox, is yeah, it? Yeah, you see the fox? Oh, I don't have to. I'm going to turn around and look yeah, at it. Yeah, it's okay. I'm going to turn around and look at it. You are. Why, sure. I don't get to see a fox every day. Do you think it was a you? fox? You. <laughs> You're my foxy lady. Do you see, think that was a fox? I, I'm, like, I'm betting, betting, I'm turning around for it. We're going to see the fox, people. We're going to see a wild fox. And the reason it's wild because we know it's not tame. We're like the eagle people up the road from us, watching the eagles. Totally is a fox. Is it? Sure it is. Yeah, it is. Cute. Look at the tail. I'd make a nice hat out of that. Oh, stop. Don't let Pina see it. Can you bring it in close? Can you? I'm in, zoomed in. Are you zoomed in? It's coming right towards us, isn't it? Cute. Foxy lady. I'm talking about you, Jolie. <laughs> well, that, you don't get to see a fox every day. Must be looking for something to eat. I suppose that's what we're all looking for, isn't it? There you go, Fina. Look at that. See the fox? Fina, Fina sees it. Does she? Yeah, you want to go and play with it, Fina? <laughs> want to go and play with the fox? I wonder how that would go down. I wonder if they become friends or not. I doubt it. No? <laughs> Probably get in a fight. I'm going to go up here and turn around. Now we need some, to see some deer. You know, and then it'll be a, you know what I mean? An mm. adventure. What we got here now? We probably got a, probably got a chicken coop. That's why the fox is close by. It's been years since I've seen a fox. Is it? Yes. There you go. You has got her eye on it. She did. She's going to get her eye on the fox. I'd let you even play with her, Fiend, but we got things to do. I'm thinking that it'd be windy right out in the amongst the field, just like our place. Oh, yeah. You know, it's just wind would gustle down over the hill and it'd be windy. Lots of little farms around. Lots of little farms around. I'm not saying that's little, but there's <laughs> farms around. Stop at one on this road. We did. Before. Me and Jolene, when me and Jolene were first started dating, um, we were driving around here with the Green Goblin. The Green Goblin's the car that looks like it's going backwards, but it's not. And uh, the roads weren't that great back here. We were, but we were just a cruising, having fun. And uh, I put the, the radiator hose got 
caught by the fan or something. We hit a hit a jump or something, and uh, we knocked some. I'm not sure what happened. Oh, look at that now. Oh. Squirrel damn near got it. <laughs> it made up its mind and went back. Yeah. But anyways, we we end up going to oh, this yeah, place right here, and we end up getting a. We blew a radiator or something. Yeah, there's a hole in the radiator. Okay. Or we lost a bunch of antifreeze or water for the radiator. We went in here. And uh, it's a chicken farm, and I said, uh, "You gonna eat eggs?" <laughs> he gave me an egg. We put it in the radiator and put some water in her, and we got her home. And the egg yolk or the white, you know, obviously cooked, and then it went into the hole and it stopped it from leaking. <laughs> Joey looked at me, and says, "Is that gonna work?" <laughs> Why, well, sure, it worked in the baby. Yeah. Uh, we got home, didn't we? Uh huh. Yeah. Uh, I don't think you want the, I'm not sure if you want the yolk or whatever, but the white yolk or white or whatever, but yeah, the white we, we dumped her in, didn't we, baby? Yeah. Yeah. They were confused. They were confused. Is this Jimbo's road? Can't tell if I'm going with her. Uh, Did you want to see Jimbo? No, it's not this one. It's down further. Oh, that's Burrick. Did you want to go to Jimbo's? Or we just could, but it's like... Time to get back and get it loaded. Yeah, I have to get the video loaded. All right, we'll just keep going here and we'll get home and so Jolene can get it loaded. Apologize that we didn't get, well, we got car content, I mean, car roof content. <laughs> it's a Studebaker 1955. Uh, you can't see it, too much snow around it. You, wouldn't have been open, you couldn't even open the doors. Yeah, no, you couldn't open the doors. I don't imagine they're going to be opening the doors for quite a while on it either. Like, no, it's in there. Yeah. And it seems like every time we, we do a video, um, if we do the car sells, don't it? Yeah. Uh, we're a good advertisement for... We better call before yeah, we'll, we post we'll, it. Yeah, we'll make a call <laughs> before we post it. Say we want to get we want to look at it first. Yeah. Please. Sort of a good way for somebody to sell their car to have a it is. do a video. It on. is. It's worked. Yeah, it 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 has. I'm just used to looking around, head on a swivel, just keep looking around. You never know what you're gonna see or what someone has drugged home. Joni show show you the road more than my side of my head. It's nice to get in the old car and go for a cruise out on these back roads. Uh, everything's not going as fast as as life is. You can just slow down a bit. I was saying this morning I, I would like to get our 62 out and go for a cruise, but it's going to be a while. It's going to be a while. We usually take our 62 to to breakfast in the morning. And I, that cures me of the ride that you know the drive we get to go for a ride in our car mm -hmm. that's fun i'm not sure but i'm not sure i have somebody interested in the 62 and i'm not sure if i want to change it up or not and drive something different because if i want to drive something different i would sell it and then drive something different and also i have elvis on the way that you know i might need can't, I can only drive one at a time. Jolene, you going to drive an old car this summer? Yeah, I want to pull out the Fiat. Jolene wants to drive her Fiat this summer. I haven't really got to drive it yet, so... That's what she wants to do. She wants to drive her Fiat this summer. had it sold last summer but then I got attached to it that's what happens sometimes I know. I'm attached to things too I'm attached to you so. <laughs> so we're going home to load the video because we haven't got that much time 
And uh, once again, Jim lives down. If we took a, at this flashing light, if we took a right, uh, it would be five minutes and we'd be at Jim's place. Mm -hmm. We're coming right here. I'm going to just show you right here. On right there, but there's a truck. There's a truck sitting there in the snow. And, and beside it is a, is a CUDA. And buried in that snow, there's a CUDA in there. I'm not sure if he put the truck there to hide the CUDA or what he did. But there's a CUDA sitting there, and I don't know why it's not been bought or no one has pulled it out and fixed it or what's going on there. It's a, I would say it's a 70 to a 73. I don't know if they made seven, yeah, 70 to 73. Uh, what, whatever they started making CUDA, whatever year that was, it's a CUDA because it doesn't have the, the body line down the quarter panel. It's a CUDA, I'm pretty sure. 71 to a, or 70 to a 73, I think. CUDA sitting there. It's been there a long time, and it's sitting on all four wheels. Not sure of the engine displacement. Don't know, but it's been sitting there for most of my life. And there's no house around it. There's nothing around it. It just sits there. It's a trucking outfit there. He has a bunch of trucks that does trucking. I hope they're trucking and not in Ottawa. <laughs> and just for the simple fact is like um, everybody needs their goods. We have lots of orchards here. Apples, that is. We have two two pie plants. And lots of apples. Got lots of wineries too. We have lots of wineries. That we do. We have lots of people growing grapes. I have a local car guy that lives in there. He has a couple cars. He has a Studebaker and a Corvette. There's a house right here, the the Upec. It's boats Upec. I can't say 100% sure, but they have. I've heard they have a steam engine car in there. They have a steam car engine in there. Not sure what what I would do with that, but um, to some people that'd be quite fascinating. If they're fixing the old barn or ripping her down. Probably ripping her down. It's one thing you have to have a big old barn. Um, that's fine to have a big old barn, but it takes a, a bunch of big old work to keep it, keep it rocking and rolling, you know, like to keep up on it and keep it maintenanced and that sort of stuff. And you'll see burns going to away, to you know, going away because of that fact. You know, you buy a house to live in it, and then you got a big barn on the property. It's hard to keep that barn serviced. So it does not go down, and a lot of the, the old barns do go down, that's for sure. That's winery there, or apples? Apples, I would say. We're coming, well, we're probably, what, 10 minutes away from Centerville? Yeah, 
That's where Jolene was brought up and born in mm-hmm. Centerville. We're probably we were probably uh, well, twenty minutes to a half hour. You were born away from me. Not even. No, well, I was in Kingsport, oh, okay. Medford. I was born, so okay. yeah, probably twenty minutes. Twenty minutes, probably born away from each other. At different times, obviously. Yeah. Yeah. About 20 minutes away. Peace on Earth. I think a lot of people would like to have that. That was just a sign I read back there. That's all. It's not (laughs) something that came out of my brain. Something I read. Mm. Not a bad thought. It's not. No, it's not a bad thought. But it was back there on a, on a, on a sign. Peace on Earth. Be nice to have peace on Earth, wouldn't it? Mm-hmm. It's easier to live when there's peace, you know. When there's when everything's all rumbled up, it's harder to focus on what what life is about. Mm-hmm. The first time I met you, you were driving the Green Goblin. Is that okay? Mm-hmm. First time I met Jolene, I was driving the Green Goblin. Uh, I, I came to a, a bar, a tavern that she worked at, and uh, I wanted to put up a flyer for the car show. Yeah. And I met Jolene for the very first time in the Green Goblin. Yeah. And uh, I, I can imagine what she thought. Yeah. What is that? <laughs> I did. I was like, what? You're from around here and I haven't seen you? Look at the head on that. Huh? <laughs> Look at the head on that. I think Reggie was there too. Hey, Reggie was there, yeah. We came out to look at the car. Yeah. Reggie was a friend of both of ours and he has passed. Rest in peace, Reggie. <clears throat> Rest in peace. This is why we have some rough roads in, in Nova Scotia. Because of the weather, heaving, heaving the, the, the pavement up and down. And uh, that's basically what we have is... Probably making people car sick. Yeah. Is that where your gr- grandmother lies? No, she's in Centerville. Okay. Or Stateville. I know where you're talking now. Yeah. Yeah. Days. Yeah. Yeah. There's always a good joke here in Nova Scotia, you know. It's it's why why do we pay taxes on the cars when the roads aren't worth the taxes? Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's you know we we obviously know that you have to pay taxes, but. Um, the roads are get the roads get quite rough around here sometimes, mm-hmm. and it's not anybody's fault. We we you know obviously we're spending our tax money on them to fix them. It's just it it's hard to keep up. Obviously, I would say It'd be hard to keep up. We stopped in here too. One other time, we broke down another <laughs> yeah. car, didn't we? Yeah. Uh, that was a Canon Kid, wasn't it? Yeah, I think we overheated. Yeah. Got some more water, didn't we? Yeah. With the Canon Kid, me and Jolene overheated one time. Yeah. Driving around, we come in this house right here. Yeah. yeah. Asked for some water. Yeah, she gave us a bucket of water. What happened? The radiator hose come off, or radiator mm-hmm. hose come off, or did something? Did something? We overheated. You know how old cars are. You just never know. There's a man up this road that has a, a car collection. I never, I've never got to see it before. I know he has it because I used to, you know, work at a body shop that used to fix his cars or do some of his cars. So I know he's got a, a collection. It would be nice to see someday. All I can do is shake my head. There's, there's not much sense doing anything else.
sort of have to watch it because you're trying to miss the potholes and you got oncoming traffic at the same time and uh, sometimes it's not good. Man has an airplane in uh, right it was right along back there I think there was an airplane he had a little strip there where he could land his airplane and take off it was pretty cool. used to be an antique store here on the right. Uh, she's, that's been a long time ago, so I think she had passed. She was an elderly lady. She used to have an antique store in that building there. Okay. That, that barn or whatever. She had an antique store. I, re I recall. Got a couple old cars sitting here on the, on the left-hand side coming up down this hill. I'm not sure, an old Ford and an old Pontiac, I think. Now, there's a Ford, old Ford LTD. And a, I used to have a Pontiac there, like a 70s Pontiac. You pointing that thing at the side of my head? <laughs> Nobody wants to see the side of my head. My windshield's dirty. Can't help that. I know. It's a dirty day out. Now I gotta put some windshield washer fluid in. We use that stuff like it's going into shape or out of style. Jolene, if, you, if we took a, a right, we would go down where Jolene lives. She only lives a couple minutes away. I'm gonna get going. Jeez. Huh? Did I scare you? I almost dropped the camera. And it says canning. See the sign there? It says canning. That's where we're going. We're going to canning. We going? We're going to Canning. It says nine miles on that sign. Canning nine miles. We'll show you the way home. How's that? <laughs> that camera's been going since we've been to Kingston. Yeah. Wow. How long take us? We're at forty-seven. Well, that's not bad. So, hour and a half. So we weren't an hour and a half, we were about an hour. Yeah. That's not bad. I know my back's starting to feel it. Is the back starting to hit all the holes? Yeah, just sitting for a long time. It'll be a lot better when you get on the jet, won't it? Yeah. <laughs> Hope so. Huh? Fight or flight. Fight or flight. <laughs> Jolene, you get on a jet, you taking everybody with you? Oh, yeah. She's taking everybody with her, boys. She gets on the jet, she's taking everybody with her. If I win, I'll take the, take the crew. So I'm going to have to take the camera then. Yeah. I'll put it on you, and you're going to have to talk. Yeah. <laughs> It'd be a cool experience. It'd be something else, wouldn't it? It wouldn't be something, but it'd be something else. I think the event is in Scottsdale, Arizona. That'd be nice. Mm -hmm. Be better weather, wouldn't it? Yeah. We were in Arizona once, were we not? Driving through. Yeah. And uh, it was, it was. It was hot. hot in the car. Was it hot in the car? Or cool in the car? Or something? Rather, yeah, it was or whatever. It was something. We put the window. We down. Put, decided to put the window down, get some cool air. It was not cool at all. No. It was hot. It was hard to believe, wasn't it? Yeah. It was just so muggy. It was just hot, hot air. It was just weird. We rolled the windows back up, didn't we? Yeah. We did part of the Route 66. Was that a mistake, or did we do that on purpose? No, that was a mistake. We, like, pulled off for... We've done a lot of things by mistake, haven't yeah, we? Yeah, but it was pretty cool, wasn't it? A uh, big chicken farm there on the left-hand side. We're big into the chickens here in Nova Scotia. I hung chickens for 15 years. Banging my knuckles. was a pig farm. That was a pig farm. It's not anymore. Yeah. Yeah, the pigs are gone. Imagine that was a big disappointment to a lot of people. Mm. You know, as things leave, that means the job leaves with it. We have a bunch of eagles 
right up the road from us. And there's there's cars parked there now, um, taking pictures of the eagles. Yeah. And uh, we'll slow down by when we go to the house. We'll uh-huh. slow by and see if we can't see an eagle for everybody. Yeah. Got some snowmobiles. Got some snowmobilers. Hey, that's that's what they that's what people like the snowmobiling. Them machines are so fast nowadays. Wow. Mm. I, I had a snowmobile when I was younger, like a little tiny, you know, single cylinder and a twenty land. The ones you couldn't steer very well, like Jim, like Jim is riding around now. He's 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 got an oldie land or ski do, but they're a lot different than what they are now. We have on the right hand side here. We have an arena, an outside arena, and uh, pretty cool. Mm-hmm. Uh, pretty cool. They got together and got it all flooded. I think Clark's down there right now, trying to trying to get the nets ready and. Huh. and get the wood going maybe have a little fire down there and people gather and have fun it's kind of a cool thing they've done right there is where we pulled the MGA out of the basement of the of the garage mm-hmm. we haven't done anything with it yet you threw part of it out didn't you I did it was just it was just why <laughs> you know what I mean I took a chance on it I lost a fingernail that day Jolene lost a fingernail that day she became snow white <laughs> she got so white she fainted yeah and I became a prince and kissed her and turned into a toad. <laughs> <laughs> that was quite a time. Yeah. And why'd your fingernail pull off? I had fake nails on and I had sanded the nail. Before. She glued, <laughs> she sanded the nail and then she glued a fake one on and it ripped her nail off. So yeah. that's how, when you sand things, how much better things stick. Yeah. Found out the hard way. And we got another little winery or brewery there. It's, well, they sell cold beer. Cold beer. We've been in there a few times, have we? No, it's we are. Yep. Yeah, we've been in there a few times. And they own chicken farm. They have a chicken farm. Hmm. Chickens, that's what they have, chicken farm. Craft beer is a big thing around here, too. Yeah, it is. I think Nova Scotia likes to drink. Yeah. Me and Jolene are off it this month. Yeah. Pants fit this morning, I can say that. Pants fit this morning. I think it's a new dryer. Yeah, okay, we'll go there. But <laughs> I don't. Pants fit this morning. They're a little bit tight, but they call that tight and right. <laughs> We're just on the outskirts of canning right now. We'll be coming into canning here in a moment. This road right here is where we took. When we did, if you see the scene on, we did the dump truck. Uh, that's the road right there that the dump truck was di- driving down. That's the scenic road right there. It was a cool road with the with the trees on either side. Mm-hmm. The dump truck driving driving down. A lot of them shots were taken with drones. says 50 and I'm doing 68 67 66 65 we'll slow down here a little bit now a warm welcome to canning here we are we're in canning and it's Sunday fun day we're out for a little ride we thought we we're gonna go look at a Studebaker we got to see the roof of it and uh, that's about it This is more or less a back way into to canning. Uh, it's the old, I don't know what that's, a th- three, do, 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 I don't know what the. 358. Is, no. Yeah. It's 221. Th- 221. Now we're, we're going to get on the 358. And the 358 comes right from the highway. So if you get off the highway and take a right, you'll be right on the 358 from exit 11. And I used to live in Kingsport. Uh, Kingsport is where I born where I lived. The look off is up over the hill from us and Scotts Bay is past. past the look off down over the hill to the water. So we live, you know, if you've ever looked at Nova Scotia, Nova Scotia is mostly water and uh, basically what's going on. Kingsport is farther down. All right, this big house right here that we're coming up upon, the big red house, that is Mike Huntley's house. That's the guy that was on Oak Island that did the diving. That we said is probably the biggest house in Canning, and it is. And I see his new tractor over there. Beautiful spot, absolutely gorgeous. 
absolutely gorgeous. Uh, we have a place over here. Um, he was the Premier of Canada? Prime Minister. Prime Minister of Canada, Robert Borden. That's During the First World War, wasn't during it? During the First World War, he was the Prime Minister. That's his house. Hard to believe Robert Borden lived in Canning, first mm. one of the Prime Ministers of Canada. Hard to believe. Yeah, I know, I know. <laughs> We have water right down here on the right-hand side. There's a little uh, where ships used to come up in there, but we have a uh, causeway, or I'm not sure what it's called, a causeway, or a... Abateau. The Abateau, yeah. And it holds the water back from the water coming in. That's what it does. We have a new a new spot here. Um, it's a brew, craft brewery, and it's a restaurant. And uh, they spent many, many, many months there fixing it up. It looks absolutely gorgeous. Um, we have a uh, our local meat store. You can see with the cow there on the top. We have our local meat store. Uh, we have a couple buildings going up that got canning burnt here a while back. Um, we have this is our grocery store. It's probably got the best liquor store around because it it stays open. Uh, we have. Uh, we have a hairdressing store, an ice cream store, another uh, restaurant down there. There's the monument with the Robert oh, yeah. Borden. Tells all about him, I'm pretty sure. Mm -hmm. uh, has him on the on the top of the monument. Now, this, this takes us up to the look-off, which the look-off is right to the top, um, basically. We're going up over the hill. There's a jaguar there. So it says there, look off in six, Scott's Bay in 16. So you're just more or less driving up over the hill, hitting the look off. And the look off is where you stop and take a look down on the valley. And the Scott's Bay is down further, continuing on down to the water where there's a, there's a wharf. People go fishing. There's a Cape Split hike. There's a Cape Split hike. It was owned, privately owned for a while, the Cape Split was, and then it was sold to the government, I think. Okay. And they have it for hiking. So you can do a six-mile walk to the Bay of Fundy. Mm -hmm. And uh, you got to be careful because you can get hurt out there. Yeah. There is a place to get hurt. coming down over the hill. The cars are not there right now. I'm not sure if the eagles are there or not, but we'll just stop for a second. Just somebody wants to see an eagle or maybe. Um, and I'm, I'm saying the eagles are here because there's food. And there's food because there's a chicken house. Huh? There's a chicken house. Oh, there, look at that now. I'll just slope, stop here for a second. We'll, we'll take off up here a little further and let the car go by. We'll go up here. Can you see the the eagle, let's move over here now. Can, taking can you see the eagles in the, in the... Oh, wow. Can you see all the eagles in the tree? Can you see them? Yep. Not very clear, but they're there. I could go over there, I suppose. Would it be closer? Yeah. Probably not. Anyways, there's one, two, three, four eagles sitting in the tree. Probably waiting for something to eat. And I would too if I was hungry. And there's people always full time taking pictures, full time. Did you want me to go over there and take a look? It's okay. It's okay. Yeah. Try and do the best we can. No, oh, I should have went over. Shouldn't I? I can't. It's it's the same distance. Okay, same distance. And we're coming upon our our home. Our ice factory, look offs up over the hill. You can see it cleared up to the first. The first clearing uh, is the Eaton. Yeah, I'm not sure. I know she was a school teacher one time. I forget her name. Right at the present moment. The second clearing is is Lori Layton's, and the third clearing is the look off. That's on the hill. Uh, this is what it looks like at our place. We've got the storage container moved, and we've got nothing but ice and snow. So all this ice is probably about six inches thick. 
Got the container moved. The container used to be beside the house. Got that moved up there, obviously. And uh, got some snow in front of us. Don't hurt yourself, Jolene. No. All right, everybody. Thanks for going with the ride with us. That's what happened. We wanted to go look at a Studebaker this morning. And I still want to look at it. It's just, you know, it's going to take some time before that thing gets out of the ice. And uh, there's no other way than nature like letting that out, is there? <laughs> I can't weather. see it. Warm weather. And it looks like it's going to be a while. But thanks for coming with us. We've seen a fox today and four eagles. Mm -hmm. Have a good one, everybody. And remember, Jolene is in second place. And you know what we got to do. <laughs> Have a good one, everybody.